Number 37, figure, this figure over here gives the acceleration of a 2 kilogram particle as an applied force Fa moves it from rest along an x-axis from 0 to 9 meters. The scale of the figure's vertical axis is set by As equals to 6 meters per square second. So this is 6. How much work has the force done on the particle when the particle reaches uh, letter A, x equals to 4, B, x equals to 7 meters, C, x equals to 9 meters. What is the particle's speed and direction of travel when it reaches 4, 7, and 9 meters? So the work, usually we have s some graph like this, this is x, and this is f, and then we have some curve like this, and then we calculate the work by taking the area under the curve, right? However, in this case, we have the acceleration. But we know from Newton's second law that force is equal to mass times acceleration, and mass is equal to 2. So the only thing that we have to do here to convert this graph to a force graph is multiply this value by 2. So I'm just going to erase this. So this will be Fs, which is equal to 12 newtons. And this is going to be minus 12 newtons. I just multiplied the y-axis by 2 because it's the mass. So now we have this kind of graph here. So now all we have to do for letter A, B and C is to get the area below the curve. So for letter A, we need to calculate this area over here. So the first part, this part over here, its area is equal to, you see this is 3, 1, one 2, 4, 3 times 12, 36 joules. And this part over here is just 1 times 12 divided by 2 because it's a triangle, 6 joules. So 6 plus 36, so for letter A, we have 42 joules. For letter B, we have to add this area over here. And this area over here is 6, of course, because this is 6 as well. Uh, this one is minus 6. And this one is 2 times it, so it is minus 12. So it is 42 plus 6 minus 6 minus 12. So letter B is equal to 42 minus 12, 30 joules. That's the answer of letter B. For letter C, we just have to sum this part over here, which is minus 12, minus 6. So it's equal to letter B minus 18. So it is 12 joules. So that's the letter, uh, the answer of letter C. For letter D, what is the particle speed? So we can see that the works always positive. So the speed will keeps not it will not keeps increasing, but the, the 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 kinetic energy is always positive, of course, and the direction of the movement is always to the same direction because we don't remove energy enough so the work is negative so the particle would go to the opposite direction right so let's see the particle speed in the direct direction is always to the right to the positive direction and the uh, speed let's see the speed the speed we need the theorem between work and kinetic energy so the work is 42, this is equal to mv squared over 2, mass is equal to 2 as well, so v squared is equal to 42, 42, so v is equal to the square root of 42, square root of 42, which is equal roughly to 6.5 meters per second. So that's the answer of letter D.
for letter E, we just replace 42 for 30 so the square root of 30 and this is going to be roughly 5.5 meters per second as for letter F it is the square root of 12 and it's let's see and it's roughly 3.5 meters per second so that's the answer of letter A, B, C, D, E and F